In your algebra class, you have all learned what natural log of x is. This thing is the same thing as log base e of x, where e is a transcendental number, which is about 2.71828, and it goes on forever. And, and, we, and your algebra teacher said, nat natu treat natural log as any other logs because its definition is log base e of x. And in this video, in, we're going to take a more calculus approach and we're going to come up with another definition for natural log of x definition. So forget everything you learned about natural log until now. So ignore this. Forget about this. It is true, but uh, in, in this video, we're not going to worry about this. Our definition for natural log, our definition for natural log of x is going to be definite integral from 1 to x of 1 over t dt. And you, you are going to say, what? That, that's ridiculous. Why can't we just define this log base e of x? Like, how is this helping us? And as you're about to find out in the next video, this definition and this definition are the exact same thing. It's telling you the exactly the same thing. And uh, well, right now it may look like it's totally different, but we're going to feel, I'm going to show you that it's actually going to be the same thing. And defining it this way can make you realize more things about natural log. It makes more things about natural log conspicuous, such as what happens when you differentiate it and uh, its, its properties, then by just defining it as log base e of x. And, and I'm going to show you what we can figure out from this definition. So let's Let's begin with this function, and uh, this graph is from desmos.com, and I have graphed 1 over t. This thing is a t-axis instead of x-axis, this thing is y, and when you graph 1 over t, it goes like this. And our definition for natural log is integral from 1, and this, this right here is 1, this right here is 1, 1 to x, uh, under this curve. So let's let's think about this. What what is natural log? What is natural log of let's say two? And you're going from one to two under this curve. So our natural log is going to be this area. So this area is going to be our natural log of two. Now, so it's going to be positive because it's a positive area. And now let's think about what is natural log of six? then you're going all the way to here and our natural log is going to be the area from 1 to 6. And it's going to be larger than natural log of 2 because you have went farther right. Now let's think about what it would mean, once I can erase all this, for natural log of 1. Natural log of 1 is integral from 1 to 1. It's integral from 1 to 1 over 1 over t dt. So it is, it is this length. And this thing does not have any area. So natural log of 1 is going to be 0. Now, what about natural log of 1 half? In this case, you're going backwards. You're going from 1. You're going from 1 to 1 half. So this thing is 1 half. So in this case, when you go backwards with positive area, you reverse the sign. Whenever you go backwards in terms of your limits of integration, instead of going from 1 half to 1, you're going from 1 to 1 half the sign of the definite integral is going to be reversed. So this thing is going to be negative of this area. So this thing is going to turn out to be negative instead of positive. And how a natural law of one fourth? That's going to be this area. And it's going to be more negative. How about natural law of zero? What about natural log of zero? What is going to be natural log of zero? In this case, you have area that's getting infinitely larger as your approach is zero. In, in, in this case, it's infinitely larger. You can prove it. In some other cases, it doesn't necessarily have to be. But in the case of this specific curve, I'm not going to prove it here. The area is infinite from zero to one. So natural log of zero diverges because the area is infinite. You're not going to define this. You're not going to define it. How about natural log of negative one? natural log negative one, you already had this infinite area to worry about, and you have another negative infinite definite integral going on. So for natural log of negative one, we are not going to worry about it for 
real numbers. In fact, you can you can show natural log of negative one is actually equal to pi times i, but this is beyond the scope of this video. When we get to calculus BC and we talk about Taylor and Maclaurin series, we may, we may prove the natural log of negative one is pi i, but in this video, no, we're only concerned about real numbers. So we, we talked a lot about this function, but let me ask you this. Let's say you're, you're trying to find the value of x such that natural log of x is 1. What's that telling you? When you start at this 1 and you go, let's say, about here, the area turns out to be 1. So what is this value? What does this value have to be? From 1 to what value do we have to go to and find the area under for area to be 1? And it turns out this value it turns out this value is about 2.71828182845904523563360 and we gave it a specific name e. So th that's another definition. Definition of e. Definition of e is a number such that such that integral from 1 to e of 1 over t dt is equal to 1 or natural log of e is equal to 1. So this is the definition of e. Now let's think about what natural log function looks like. And this is from desmos.com. And it is the graph of natural log of x. y equals to natural log of x. And as you can see, it confirms our predictions. At x equals to 1, natural log of x turns out to be 0. At about, at about, two, at about this point, which is e, our value of natural log is equal to 1. And our natural log gets larger and larger as you go this way. And when you go to the left of 1, our natural log has negative value and it goes infinitely this way. And you may say, this thing passes horizontal line test. For each value of y, there's only one value of x that corresponds with it. And what's that telling you? It's telling you this thing has inverse. This thing has inverse function. And as we are about to find out in the next video, the inverse function of this is e to the x. And what's that going to signify? The fact that this the, the natural log of x has inverse function that is equal to e to the x is going to tell you our definition. Our definition of this crazy 1 to x or 1 over t dt is actually equal to the definition of log base e of x. And we are going to look into that in the next video.